Hi everybody, my name is Amanda from beautifulnursing.com. Today in my five minutes or less series, we're gonna be talking about fetal heart rate. So the first thing that you should know is that a normal or baseline fetal heart rate is considered 110 to 160. There is a really easy mnemonic to remember the different types of fetal heart rates and what they mean. This is veal chop. The V stands for variable decelerations. These are due to cord compression. E is for early decelerations. This is due to head compression. A is for accelerations, which means it is okay. L is for late decelerations, which is due to placental insufficiency. All right, so let's break this down. What are accelerations? Accelerations are increases in fetal heart rate by 15 beats per minute. So accelerations are okay or normal. This is usually due to fetal movement, vaginal examinations, uterine contractions, or even fetal scalp stimulation. So accelerations are considered normal and are okay. Versus decelerations. Decelerations are a temporary drop in fetal heart rate. So there are different types of fetal decelerations. Remember how I said in veal chop that early decelerations are due to head compression. This is okay, this is normal. So in early decelerations, when the mother is having uterine contractions, the baby's head is being compressed to be birthed. This can cause a temporary drop in their fetal heart rate. So this is normal just due to uterine contractions. So here's an example of a early deceleration fetal heart rate. Um, so as you see on the top, the green line is the fetal heart rate. The pink is the maternal contraction. So each time mom has a spike or contraction, the fetal heart rate lowers slightly. But as you can see, it bounces right back. So with these early decelerations, there is no intervention needed. Again, these are normal versus a late deceleration. So late decelerations are a cause for concern. These are usually due to utero placental insufficiency. So as you notice with this late decelerations tracing, just remember it's due to utero placental insufficiency. And a way to remember this tracing is that the fetal heart rate, which is the line in red, has a U shape. U for utero placental insufficiency. And then the pink line is the maternal contractions. And you'll notice that each time mom has a contraction, the fetal heart rate does not respond. So it stays the same and then dips. So late decelerations are a non-reassuring or concerning pattern. And the interventions you wanna do can be summed up with the word clients. Lie the client on their left side, administer IV fluids, administer oxygen, notify the provider. And finally, S for stop the infusion if there's one running of pitocin or oxytocin. Finally, variable decelerations. I remember variable for very bad. These are usually a drop in the fetal heart rate by 15 beats per minute. And as you look back at veal chop, variable stands for cord compression. With variable, just remember those Vs. So variable, very bad, and if you look at this tracing here of variable decelerations, you'll notice that the fetal heart rate, which is the red line, has a V shape. So the treatment or interventions needed with variable decelerations is you're first going to push. So you're gonna push the baby's head back up and position the mother knee to chest. So with this, just remember, you're gonna first push, then position. You can also just continue if there's an IV infusion going of the Pitocin or Oxytocin. You also want to administer oxygen and you might have to assist with doing an amnio infusion if prescribed. In general, just going over low versus high fetal heart rates. If you have a low fetal heart rate, you can remember this with pulp free. So this can be due to a prolapse umbilical cord, placental insufficiency, low blood pressure, Pressure, blood glucose, prolonged cord compression, or fetal heart failure or a heart block. So the treatment for this is just going to be lions. Or if you see a high fetal heart rate, this is considered 160 or greater beats per minute for 10 minutes or more. A high fetal heart rate can be due to the Ds. D for destruction of red blood cells, so anemia, dysrhythmias of the fetus, drug use, or dehydration with 
fever or infection. The treatment for a high fetal heart rate is going to be antipyretics. You can do oxygen or an IV fluid bolus. So in conclusion, just remember your veal chop and when to use your lions and you will do great. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more.